We have a coastal storm system that's going to be impacting the Carolinas in a few days, so let's see what that could look like. Welcome back guys, my name is Brandon Anthony and you are watching Phantom Weather Channel. Today we're going to be talking about a coastal low that's going to be developing off the coast of Florida and Georgia. It's going to be moving up into the Carolinas, bringing some pretty significant impacts along its way. We're talking about heavy rainfall, dangerous seas, possibly some coastal flooding as well. We got a lot to talk about today, so let's not waste any time. Let's get right into that simulated satellite imagery here across the Atlantic. And as you guys can see, we do have a lot of clouds across a large portion of the Central Atlantic, as you can see over here, but this isn't going to do jack squat. As you guys can see, we don't expect any tropical cyclone activity over the next 48 hours, and we're going to have to wait on this new development over here, over the southeast, that's going to be creating some disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity across Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. This is going to be going on over the course of the next couple of days here. Now, eventually, we're going to see a low trying to make its way up into the Caribbean, and it's going to be moving up the coast of Florida here. It stays over South Florida uh, throughout pretty much the entire day on Thursday, but then gradually makes its way off to the north. And when it does this, uh, once it gets off the coast of Florida, it's just going to keep trekking its way up there, and eventually it will be making landfall in South Carolina. Now, let it, let it be noted here that this is also not expected to develop into a tropical cyclone per se, but it will have a lot of the similar attributes to one. As you guys can see here, we got a well, relatively weak low pressure system right off the coast of Florida there as we get into Friday evening. This thing will continue trekking off to the east and eventually directly off to the north, but that's not going to be happening until we get into about Saturday night. And at that point, we are going to see this thing getting closer and closer to South Carolina. Now, if we take that a few frames back, you guys can see that we're going to have some very strong winds located right off the coast here. And that's going to do a couple of things. It's going to increase the wave height. There's going to be some very dangerous waves just off the coast of the southeast and the mid-Atlantic, here, especially the southeast, I should say. Uh, and that could definitely create some problems for boaters, but it's also going to create some problems for areas right along the coast. You're going to have 35 to 45 mile an hour wind gusts right along the coast there. And because these winds are going to be coming out of either the southeast or the east, there could definitely be some coastal flooding concerns. So let's take that a few frames forward, and eventually we see this thing practically making, I guess we can call it landfall, as we get into Sunday morning. But again, it's not expected to do so as a tropical cyclone. So it has a lot of the similar attributes to one, but it's not going to be a storm that's officially named. At least that's what we expect at this current point in time. As we get into Sunday, this thing is well on shore of South Carolina, and it's just going to kind of hover across those two areas as we get into uh, the early portion of next week. Now, if we, as we take a look at our simulated radar here, you guys can see we're going to have a lot of rain over the same area for a prolonged period of time. Uh, this starts off right around Saturday. And honestly, across the Carolinas and Georgia, it's going to continue all the way into the early to middle portions of next week. We're not talking about this thing weakening until we get into about Tuesday, or at least Monday of this coming week here. So to round off May, we're going to have persistent rainfall from this coastal system across the southeast. And those numbers are definitely going to add up after a while. Uh, by Tuesday morning, we have practically nothing going on, but there is some signal that I could wake up again after this period is over on May 30th. So just into the morning of Tuesday, May 30th, if you're next Tuesday, uh, here is a look at our potential rain totals. If you're anywhere in these pink shaded regions, you can expect an inch or two of rain. These reds, you're looking at two to four. There could be some areas that get over four inches of rain, and this will lead to multiple days of localized flooding concerns. This does include some higher popula population areas across the Carolinas into the lower Appalachian Mountain vicinity here. You definitely want to keep an eye on that. And off the coast, I mean, we're going to have some extreme offshore totals here, uh, possibly 15 to 20 inches well off the coastline. Uh, but I don't think we're going to have to worry about totals, anything like that, once you actually get into the inland areas. So overall, it's not looking like anything too crazy. However, it will be a coastal system. It will bring heavy rain. It will bring dangerous seas and probably coastal flooding as well. Maybe some isolated wind damage along the coast as well across South Carolina and North Carolina. So we're definitely going to be watching this as we head into the future. If you guys want more updates for just general weather stuff, be sure to subscribe to the channel with those post notifications turned on. And also be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys want other people to get this information as well. But until the next video or live stream, stay safe and I will talk to you guys back here next time.